Hello friends, I am Salman and welcome to my channel Salman Mustafa. Today we learn how to get second maximum number in C++. So, just install your any editor. I use uh, dev C++ by uh, say 5.11. Go to file if you use same code editor. New and create new source file. Okay, so we need I just okay. So we need console header file. We need standard input output header file. We need IO screen header file. Start main function. Just press F9 to compile it. First of all, we need to save. Second, maximum number. So there is error. Okay, it's compiled. Good. So we need to get let's suppose 10 numbers and find the maximum number of runtime. We do first without array and then we do same with array and discuss why we need data structures, why data structure is very important. Okay, let's suppose um, I just my code okay so let's suppose we need numbers okay why we need to initiate this one with one let's suppose number less than equal to 10 User input the number. So we enter the first one. get this number in a variable let's suppose 10 so we need to clear 10 so now we have number we also declare maximum suppose we need maximum and second maximum okay. now 
maximum. Because first of all we compare the first input. So first input because we use integer is surely greater than this number, so we will initialize these numbers automatically. Okay. So now we compare because we have input if this temp value greater than maximum. So what is true? If this temp value is greater than maximum, then check if this value is also greater than second maximum. If yes, it means second maximum is previous maximum. Else, it means let's suppose let, let let we discuss with numbers. Let's suppose we have maximum ten. Second maximum nine uh, eight. So this is nine. Okay, let's suppose now eight. This is nine. Okay, let's suppose it's twelve and this is ten. So twelve is greater than ten. Yes. So twelve. Let's suppose second maximum is eleven or eight, something like this. Okay, so we need. Okay, we don't need else here. Okay, so else. If it is not maximum, then greater than maximum. So we need else. It means here we check if them. Is greater than second maximum. If yes, then second maximum equal to this time. We just try to focus for the number. Okay, no problem. Insert number. Okay. Insert number. Let's post ten, twenty, something like this. Now, what's the now? For you, see. Let's suppose I have. I will explain to you. Let's suppose I have max. I have second max, and I have ten. So let's suppose max is fifteen. At that point. Is thirteen, and I enter fourteen. First of all, this one. So I check to either first of all check fourteen is greater than fifteen. No. Okay. No. So it goes to here, and check fourteen is greater than thirteen. Yes. So that's why I send this one. Then second. This is thirteen.
9 and this is 14 ok 10 10 greater than 13 this one temp is greater than maximum yes so it comes here so now we check either it is greater than second maximum it is not greater than second maximum because if it is greater than this one it is understood that it is greater than second maximum is second maximum ok so second maximum is previous maximum ok and maximum now equal to temp so no need for this one but just for verification now it's absolutely right ok now we have two numbers at the end we show see out maximum number is number next we need to change the line and second maximum number second no need but just to change it that's good let's pause 12 Maximum of the uh, okay. Maximum. Because we, we use Y and this is in Y. So we don't we go out and here I just I close this. That's it, we are done. It's number plus plus. Okay, first number plus twelve we go with this twelve. Okay, for now we go with five. Five. Okay, twenty five. Thirty five. 12, 65, 19. Okay, one more number. 69. Okay. Okay. Maximum number here is 69. Second maximum number is 65. Okay, but it is 1, 2, 3, 4. No, because we don't compile it. Okay, now it's okay. 12, 15, 65 is maximum, 35 second maximum, 10. So 65 and 35. So we see if we need any input we have now maximum or second maximum also but if we need previous input we don't have any it is not good to make database or save this one to database because it will be costly and take some time so that's why we we need some data structure like array so in next video i will teach you in array how we do uh, this thing uh, with sorting and if we need previous value we have in array okay thank you very much gentlemen and see you in next video bye bye